Well, this morning, getting ready to go to uh, Ashland, Mississippi, TCI. And I gotta tell you, I do miss driving this car as my daily driver. It's been a while since I've ran it every Friday. I just don't like to drive it when it's super raining out here because it's just, the rain out here is just gnarly compared to where I'm from. Like, you know, we get a, San Diego, we get a light little rain compared to this place and the place would shut down. I still got my old school black plate. So if you know, you know. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'll try to see if this video comes out, but while I'm driving it, I will do a video when I'm going down the 72 and uh, see if it comes out. Anyways, alrighty, well, on my way. Okay, I apologize for if there's a glare or whatever, but this is the drive, and right now I'm coming through a school zone. I really wanted to show you the lock converter. See how it's on red right now? So it's it's definitely not locked up. I have it set to lock up at about, at, uh, I think it's 55 miles an hour or whatnot. So, let's see if you can see it all here in one. So yeah, I'm gonna speed back up, and there, that just locked up. And it usually drops the RPM by about two or 300 RPM. And, and this thing loves to live right between 70 and 80 miles an hour. This is exactly what I built it for, uh, was this was this freeway speeds. It's, like I said, 276 gear, super high stall converter, but because it's only got 200-ish foot-pounds of torque, and you know, 200-ish horsepower, it is what it is. That's just, I mean, it, it can boogie this thing down the road just fine. And let's see here, we're getting up to about 75 here. There's 75. At 2,500 RPM, I drove it all the way to, to Tucson, Arizona like this from, from Tennessee. And this is my plan B for drag week. If, if uh, I can't seem to get the parts that I need, like the, the there's, there's parts that are just in, definitely on back order, it seems like, you know, waiting almost, uh, you know, uh, seven months or so for a, a Holley, you know, ignition controller for my Gen 3 Emmy. If I don't get it in time, this is plan B. And what plan B is gonna be is that no support vehicle, that means I'll drive this thing from the Memphis area to St. Louis, no trailer, no support, no nothing, and do drag week, and then drive it back. And that will be my, my Slant 6 challenge. So I'll make my own little class if they don't have it. The Slant 6 challenge class, that means that you gotta drive it there, no support, no trailer, no tires, no nothing, drive it, whoever gets the best time and then, and then makes it back home and proves they made it back home without a trailer, then uh, they can be in my class. How about that? Anyways, so yeah, when I get up on a, on a different road, when I get off the 72 here, I take the five down to, um, oh, what's that, to Ashland. So yeah, coming up on Slayton right here. You know, it's not really a drag car by no means. This is exactly what I made it for. You know, I, you know, just, when it comes to a slant six, at least for me, everything I'm saying here is just what I have found. You gotta pick one. It's either gonna be hot rod street car, hot rod street car drag car, or a driver. This is a driver. This thing drives, drives well. It's got plenty of power. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a little straightaway here. Let's slow it down. And there we go. There's 85. So, yeah, it, it does pretty good. And that's with the 600 uh, Edelbrock on it right now. It was a 500. All I did was just change the front barrels out. I think I like the 600 better, not necessarily just because it's more airflow. It's just that it doesn't because the 500 is the exact same carburetor but the Venturi's are much larger so it blocks all airflow there's a huge disparity from the front and then the secondaries right so the primaries and secondaries so when it opens it's really hard to tune the two 
on this one here, it's it's pretty simple. You know, they're they're as far as like getting your calibration right. You know, air fuel mixture, which I can't show you right now because you know I'm still low budget. All I have is a phone for my recordings. I don't do not have a anything else right now. So on my phone, I have a wireless wideband, so I can I can check this thing and record it while I'm driving. You know, with different you know RPMs versus air fuel mixture and I can do it's got a two sensor so I can do front three back three and yeah when I when you're driving with the with the, the 500 the the front three definitely are running a little bit richer than the back three and then when you floor it it reverses so yeah it's it's one of those deals anyways well I'm coming up on Ashland Mississippi here soon and I'll do some more recording of, of what this thing's like to drive around you know they these are great cars if you uh just find find if you can get over like say uh if you can get over that 175 mark horsepower wise and, and decent torque and just know that 4500 to 5000 is about really it for spinning it make your camshaft around there tighten up the lsa so that way it gives it a lot of initial torque you know this head doesn't want to flow so you can trick it with camshaft and you know a little bit of lift here and there and let her eat anyways so yeah that's that i'm gonna record a little bit more here and there righty all right so here we go pulling out onto the 72 and you know just a little quarter throttle how it accelerates and you'll see it as soon as that hits about 55 it should be there it is that's lock up and just cruising down the road. Going for a ride in the Slant 6. So that's 70 and it likes to cruise right around 75. That's where the harmonic on the exhaust sounds the best. 75 miles an hour. It's good to go. You just can't go wrong. This is, like I said before, in the last three or four videos, this is what I built it to do. It does it really good. Just hums along, you know, right at that RPM, right around that 2,500, 2,600 mark. It just sat, it sat there for 20 straight hours. Good to go. Anyways, yeah, just uh, it's uh, about four in the afternoon on Friday, driving down the 72. It's about. 93 to 94 ish outside so you know you know they always said that the heat out here in the in the south was going to be bad look i grew up in the desert it's 122 in fact my friends right now in arizona like in phoenix it's 122 out there 93 with humidity <laughs> jump change just wear your shorts and you know, luckily I got a ball vent on the on the Dodge. They have a little vent down there. You open it up, keeps the boys nice and cool. Roll the window down and just go up and over the little little humps and rises as you as you please. Just motors right along. Anyways, yeah. So this is uh this is what it's like to to build one of these. And I, I'm not nice to this thing. This is a driver. I, I'm. Like I said, I'm going to keep it just the way it looks. Uh, it Mechanically, this thing is perfect. So, there it is. And, uh, yeah, just got a little bug, a little bug juice. Anyways, yeah, and yeah I'm going to gonna sign off here. And uh, maybe when I get into town, but I maybe when I'm getting gas. Gas out here in Mississippi is definitely much cheaper than, than Tennessee. So, when I get closer to... Uh, the twin gas stations up here. I'm not sure what town it is. It's just before Slayton. Uh, I'm going to get gas. And then that way you can hear my fans coming on. They're kind of cool because they kind of roll in slowly. But uh, yeah, thermostat set at, you know, one, I think it's 180 thermostat on this one. In fact, I know it's 180. And I got the electric fans, you know, kind of come on about 185s where they start to turn on and at about 190 they're full blast and they're rarely at full blast so yeah we'll turn it on all right 
took me a good bit, but I had to I had to let it sit here. I just got home and I had to let it sit here and idle for a second to get these things on. But yeah, that's full blast on them. I'm just moving some decent air. And then uh, it takes them a few, but see, I even got the lines right there too. So when it's hot, it goes to that line. When it's cold, it goes to that line. And if it's a driver, it's a driver. You got to have that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't really drive it much with these pipes on it. You know, I just put those on in October with the duals. Uh, I'm going to wrap those because it does put a lot more engine heat in here. And I do notice it boiling the carburetor a little bit more than it had before. So I'm going to definitely wrap those and, you know, see if I can get some underhood temperatures a little, a little down a little bit more. But other than that, it is what it is, you know. It's, Nothing crazy, just just goes. It's not a race car. I have to, every time I, I do this, I have to tell myself that. It's not a race car. But yeah, that's that. Anyways, uh, this is the this is the Lizard King. Now you've gone for a ride in it. You've kind of seen what it's about. And I will be diving into a few other things too. I didn't, I filmed, but I forgot to post up. Whenever I change the oil in this, I changed the rear fluid in the back. I, I have a drain plug in it. And it only takes a quart, so it's no big deal. But, you know, I drain it out and I put a new one in it. Um, actually, I do that, sorry, every other oil change. Oh, here we go. You can hear them starting to slow down. So this is them slowing, slowing down. This thing's actually right here. It's slowing it down. There's a... You can't really see it, but on the other side of the hose there, that's the uh, that's the sensor. It doesn't even go into the block. It goes on the water outlet. So basically, just you're telling this thing what temperature you want the water to come out at. And so that that's them slowing way down. Right now, they're barely barely blowing any fluid, but this is kind of where they they sit right about here. <laughs> as the slow as the toys go winding down there you go but yeah that's that and with that I bid you adieu